In this video, you'll learn how to create event rules in the Wave VMS. This assumes you've already configured your analytics or whatever trigger you want in the camera. You'll see here on screen, we have some of our analytics overlays being shown so that we can see the zones or areas. We're gonna start by right clicking on a camera and going to camera rules. You'll see a list of all of the rules for that camera that are already created. Click the plus add button on the top right. Then on the left, we have the event input where it says when select analytic event from the dropdown. Then for at, choose the one or more cameras that you want the event to be triggered from. You can make this as granular as you like. Then under event type, you're gonna scroll through the list and it will know which events, which analytics each one of the WiseNet camera supports. The schedule section allows you to customize when this event rule will take place. So if you only want it to operate during the business hours or off hours or weekdays, you can customize that. On the right side of the screen is the event action that will take place when the event occurs. From the do dropdown, you can select the action. In this case here, we'll choose bookmark. Then you choose at, and that will indicate which cameras will be bookmarked. And you can adjust the options here, such as putting in the duration of the bookmark and any tags. You can also enter in any comments. These comments are for the administrator who is configuring the system on this screen here. And then you'll see we have a variety of other event actions. We can do things like playing a sound file that can play to the client or out of a speaker on a camera. You can do things like sending an email notification, a mobile push notification to WaveSync users or user groups. You can customize what that notification will say. Or displaying the alarm layout to get your attention on the Wave client. There's a lot of options here that allow you to configure and customize what your system does and when. And you'll see you can also uncheck the on checkbox to enable or disable an event rule if you don't want it to take action right now. When you're done, make sure to click the OK or apply button to save and then test it out. Any unsaved event rule will have a star in the star column all the way on the left. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.